Hey there, this is Crystal Coney at the 2011 AFI Film Festival. We are here in support of the film Kenya Wanda. Stay tuned because you don't want to miss what's coming up next on Black Tree TV. Last year you were here yeah. with I Will Follow, and, yes, uh, the first winner. I, I think I feel like my, my husband has been uh, brought in of the movement too, <laughs> that it's important to be here for everything that a firm does and support it. And I, I know uh, Ava who started this movement and yes. I know that this film would have to be great or she wouldn't have had that be her, you know, the second film that a firm was out. So. She wouldn't let it out if it wasn't. So, so I'm just, I'm really excited about it and I hope people come out December 2nd to support it. It's very, very important, just like it was last year. Or, it's been a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. here we go. <laughs> um, time goes by very quickly. Um, yeah. To support that film, we have to, we have to show that this movement really works. What specifically brought you out for this project? I know that you were a global spokesperson in 2007, so I know that you, you know, speak out a lot on different things. Was genocide something close to your heart, or was this, you know? Uh, well, look, genocide can never be close to, close to your heart. You're right. But um, you know, it's something of uh, great interest to me. Um, but the, I, w I wanted to see this film. I haven't been able to see it. I was uh, at Sundance. Okay. You know, that I was promoting another film, so really didn't have time to watch another movie. So um, I started hearing about it and read that it's a cross between Hotel Rwanda and Pulp Fiction. It's interesting. So let's, let's check this out. Here you are. Oh, is this your first AFI Film Festival, first of all? It is. It is. And I'm excited to be yeah. here. Yeah, what did you hear about the film that let, made you say, I have to be here? I heard that it won awards in Sundance. I heard that it was about the Rwanda genocide, and I heard that it was very good, and it was very moving, and it opened my eyes as well as other viewers' eyes to what's going on um, in the world, you know, besides in America. I'd like, it, you know, so I'm excited. Yeah. Had, did, did you know much about the genocide and what happened over there? Or is this going to really be sort of an informational um, film as well? I, I know about it and, and, you know, things that have gone on historically. The last movie that I saw about it was with Don Cheadle. Um, and it was very eye-opening for me and it was very real and very in your face. So, and it was very moving. I just remember I cried so many times in that movie because I didn't know it was that bad. So to, to be able to learn something <laughs> while you're watching um, something is, you know, pretty powerful. So I'm, I'm interested to see what, what this movie has to show. Please, I, I already know, but I would love for you to tell our audience exactly what Kenya Wanda means. Um, Kenya Wanda is actually the official language of Rwanda. One of the few things, uh, the, uh, things that people did not know is that Rwandans had their own language that the Hutus and Tutsis both shared. And so um, we wanted to make sure we started off at, from a unifying place immediately, just with the title of the film. Yes. Yeah. And how did you get involved with the project? Did it find you or did you find so it? The project kind of found me and I found it a little bit. I live and work in, in uh, West Africa for several years. But when I left West Africa, I ended up going to film school at NYU. One of my Peace Corps colleagues who I was in um, Africa with ended up in Rwanda and um, he met the executive producer, Ishmael Ntiabose. Ishmael and I emailed back and forth for years and one day he told me he got a grant to do this movie he wanted to do about the Rwandan genocide. So I went to Rwanda and worked with him to make this film possible. So it was like the, the diaspora coming together to make a film. An African calling an African American to make a movie together. Yeah. Now when he first, when you first read the project, I mean, because it was already a... The, the, he had an idea for the story, and I just took that idea and, like, expanded on it and brought a new approach to telling it. Yeah. The success that it's had so far, is it beyond what you really imagined, or are you right in line with what you were thinking? I think the success of the film is a bonus. What we imagined, what we wanted to do was get it to as many people as possible. And so any accolades that have come with that have just been like, uh, uh, just the bonus in the process, icing on the proverbial cake. Uh, I just have to ask you, the casting process, was it the same in Rwanda? Did you do it all there? Did well, you do all the casting was actually done in um, Rwanda and we found an amazing casting director named Simon. He was an assistant and to another to a big casting director and came on board with our film and helped us out. 
was pretty amazing because he brought thousands and thousands of Rwandans to us. And then I ended up um, bringing Cassandra Freeman from the U.S. Um, to, to act in it, and Kenna Nyenjikwe, who have significant roles in the film. But um, yeah, but the majority of the, the casting was done in Rwanda. Awesome. I saw it earlier today. I watched it. It was amazing. So really appreciate it, and um, good luck with much future success with it. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the 2011 AFI Film Festival. I'm Crystal Coney. We got a chance to talk to Dennis Haysbert, Sally Richardson Whitfield, the director of this wonderful film, Kenya Wander, Elric Brown. Check out more information on blacktreetv.com. <laughs>